What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Radcast. I'm Andrew Milanta. My friends call me Rogue Leader. And I'm Nikki D. Milanta, and everybody calls me Dimmy. Whew. Sorry for the absence. A lot of stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, whatever. You take the first five seconds of every episode, and they're going to be the exact same. <laughs> Going for the Charlie, well, you know, shit happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. Hurricanes happen. Kids get sick. Yeah. We get lazy. Yeah. <laughs> what was wrong? Your hair just got like this thing going on. What do you mean? What? I don't know. It like had this like part. Andrew's growing his hair out, as yeah. you can tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For that, that last ex escapade with Lisa. It's like, Thank you, Lisa. Fuck it. I'm just growing my hair out. My hair, gonna, my hair has been this long in a long time. I'm going to cut my hair for an entire year. Yeah. <laughs> See how well that goes. Yeah, it has this like natural part now. Like I used to usually comb it to one side and even if I do that now, it's like it just goes, nope. Well, I mean, it makes sense because once it gets to a certain length, it's not just going to keep standing up anymore. Yeah. And it's going to have enough weight that it will just fall over. Yeah, so getting, it makes sense. Yeah, it's getting to that that point. But. Got a little curly cues in the back. Mm-hmm. Cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a while since my hair, hair has been this long. But um, mm -hmm. that's a story for another time. Don't want to get into that. Mm -hmm. But football is tonight. It's been been on for a week now. But is that your boyfriend? No, I wish. <laughs> is he hot? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> is he cute? Is he clean? <laughs> but football tonight. Knights play tonight against a nobody team or whatever. Oh, wow, rude. I, I've said it before. Our first three games were like. Like regular night scheduled before, but now we're in the big boy league and we're going to get crushed <laughs> after the first three games. Oh, after the first three games. Yeah, because okay. like there's a string of it's like, oh, Oklahoma, West Virginia, big TCU. It's like, oh, real teams. People that know how to play football. <laughs> yeah, people that, that have, for several years now have been knowing how to play football. I mean, mm. for fuck's sake, Oklahoma was in the playoffs two years in a row for like three years ago, four years ago. TCU was in the national championship last year. So... Yeah. 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 But yeah, I'm excited. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I need somebody to talk about football with. <laughs> I, I barely know Just, the rules. Well, you're excited for football, though. I, I'm, I'm excited for the feeling mm -hmm. of football. Like, I don't really know the game. I don't really, like, necessarily watch it to be like, oh, wow. <laughs> what a play. Like, I don't really like. You can appreciate really good plays, though. There are sometimes you're I like, mean, there's sometimes when I'm nice like, catch. damn, what a throw. <laughs> what a rocket on that guy, you know? Like, Laser rocket arm. But. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not watching it. I, there's no team that I'm ever like. Yeah, ro rooting for him. I mean, UCF, but I mean UCF, but we all know <laughs> we're self-aware. If you're a UCF fan, you are self-aware enough to know what you're getting. Recent into. memory UCF fans don't know how good they have it. I was born into the losses, <laughs> molded by them. I didn't know you, win until I was a graduate. You were there for the Citrus Bowl. We've had this conversation like. We just had this conversation. Mm -hmm. you, you forgot you've been to games in the stadium. I'm still not fully convinced that. <laughs> <laughs> we have pictures of us in the stadium. I do. I do have to pull those up and be like, this is a stadium? Yeah. I've been in there? Yeah, because the year I came in, when I transferred into UCF, we uh, the stadium just opened. So all the games that I went to. So I was, you've never been to the Citrus Bowl? I've never been to the Citrus Bowl. In any, wait, have I been to the Citrus Bowl? for? I might have been for like a bowl game. Uh, when my parents what well, before I went to college like in high school or something not all it's cracked up to be well they just I think the year a couple years after UCF's stadium went up they re they renovated it and it's like this what the Citrus Bowl yeah it's just Bowl it's basically a brand new stadium sort of it's, they basically painted over a turd so um, like this that's our stadium that is our stadium okay so I are guess you serious like the Citrus Bowl is, is way bigger than, than the UCF stadium it's all the same <laughs> it's all the same yeah this is the. That's the. Wait, hold on. No, that is Citrus Bowl. Okay, well, this is all the same album. Okay. Hold on, let me see. Here you go. So, oh, yeah. No, this is. That's this is Citrus, a Citrus Bowl? Bowl. But if you okay. go to more recent ones, when, what about, when I'm in the pictures. What about this one? <laughs> what about <laughs> this one? <laughs> this is great. This is nope, great for, this is for, Citrus Bowl. <laughs> I remember that's a Citrus Bowl because well, that was the. When they had that, that old checkered. Well, no. In the end zone, that's the old Citrus Bowl. I don't care about the checker. Oh, yeah, that, that lady. That's yeah. how I know. <laughs> because once upon a time, <laughs> I went to the Citrus Bowl to a football game with mm -hmm. a couple of friends. You okay. weren't with us. This is probably the year before they opened the, the stadium. Maybe. This is probably while the stadium was being built. And there was a... It probably wasn't this one either. That was probably the Citrus Bowl too. 
I don't know. Um, but there was a, uh, we went to the Citrus Bowl. There wasn't a lot of parking because mm-hmm. as you would imagine. Yeah, it was like downtown Orlando. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> yeah. But um, we get there and we parked, I think we parked in like a nearby apartment complex, mm-hmm. which you probably weren't supposed to do. Yeah. Probably could have gotten towed. Enter this one lady. I forget her name. I, m- I might have put it somewhere in there. Uh, we made up a name for her, I think. She was... um. I mean, we didn't have like confirmation, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty certain she was the lady of the night. <laughs> walking um, or working? Um, it wasn't nighttime. It was fully daytime. Mm-hmm. But maybe she was just getting an early start. <laughs> I don't know. But like uh, she. Broad daylight. <laughs> it was still light. Lady of the night. <laughs> it was still light outside because I, I clearly in my pictures. Yeah. Um, but she was like telling us, I'll guard your car. You pay me, I'll guard your car. What? So I guess they don't like tow it or people don't like try to steal from it or something. I guess. And she Neither was like telling or. us that she'll protect our car as long as we pay her. And we're like, lady, do we look like we have the means to pay? You? <laughs> Did you? What would you give her? I remember. We probably gave her, I think we gave her like um, a Diet Coke and like a couple of dollars. And like, it wasn't much. But she was like, I'll protect your car while you're at the game. Like, I know what you're doing. And we're like, okay, thanks. <laughs> and so. I mean, she must have done her job because our yeah. car was there when we got back. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that that was definitely. Yeah. There, if I'm in the pictures uh, at a football game, that's at the stadium. I know that I have some. You have a couple with you in them. I don't know. They're somewhere. Yeah, because those, those are all when you um, when you enter the lottery to get into the student section. I don't recall. Mm-hmm. I just simply don't. Yeah. I don't think because I think this game was also at the Citrus Bowl. Yeah, because I remember we played nobody teams like like our whole schedule that year. That's why I thought this Villanova game was there. But anyway, anyways, um, supposedly I've been to the UCF. You have. I have. I'm sure because I know I have pictures with you in them. Mm -hmm. They're somewhere. I got to find them too. Yeah, I I I, I think remember when uh, our kicker because his last name was Key Keys or Keys. Oh, so everybody would jiggle, everybody their jiggle their car keys and stuff like that. That was, that was so dumb. I like our new kicker. Thank you. Our new kicker, kicker tradition because um, I think his last name is, is Boomer or Boom. <laughs> well, so, we all go, okay, Boomer. I, I, th- I think, no, it's something. I think it's Boom because every time he hits, every time he kicks, it, 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 the whole crowd goes, Boom. Didn't see that coming 10,000 miles away. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. What do we name our thing? The fucking bounce house, too? Are we that imaginative? <sighs> I don't know why. We didn't nickname our fucking stadium the Dungeon. Nights. Nice. Why wouldn't we name it the Dungeon? Because it's like, you know, the gators have the swamp. So it's like, when I call it the Dungeon, welcome to the Dungeon. It's like, but they call it the Bounce House. Why? Because we jump and shit? Because when we jump, the, 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 it reverberates to the entire stadium. You can see the cameras like literally like do this. I'm it's, so, it's, hi- I highly doubt can't that be safe. the only stadium that does that. I mean, people. I guess, but like it's, it's very, it's, it's, it was so noticeable when we televised our, because we televised when we got on like, like, like primetime or like when ESPN would be covering the thing. So, like, God, the cameras are just like, rah, rah, rah. They're like, oh, the bounce house. I'm like, that's so fucking dumb. <laughs> so lame. Yeah. Dungeon would have been cool. The dungeon but also, been so, Dungeon so, would have been so a lot cool. more fitting if we were better. <laughs> I mean, we're decent. Welcome now. to the dungeon, baby. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> self-proclaimed national champions in 2017 <laughs> how's that work because we were the only undefeated team in the entire nation that year and we beat we beat we beat auburn who was the only team to beat both teams that played for the national championship that year mm-hmm. so if a the transit of property. property so okay yeah, we beat just, the team math. that beat auburn that year it was no no we, we beat auburn who who beat both i believe it was george no was it georgia or was it it was it was Alabama won the national champion that year. Auburn beat them prior to them playing in the playoff, mm. and we we beat Auburn. So by the transitive property, we should have been, and we're the only undefeated team that season. Mm. So it's like that's uh, I mean I will admit that's cute, guys. <laughs> and he even says it in our stadium 2000, 2017 national champions. <laughs> Come on, because technically, if a publication name deems you the national champion then in, in certain eyes it's official that's so stupid so a local paper named us the national champions and we rolled with it and then we put it on our stadium you know what you gotta <laughs> take what you can get i know i mean it's cute it's fun but like that was a special fucking team there we'll never have a team ever like that, that like, was after we graduated that was yeah that was way well after we, mm. we both graduated but like 
I don't that team anything. was so special. Our star linebacker had one hand. I remember that. Remember Griffin? Yes. Yeah. Would never remember his yeah, name. He, yeah. The year before his twin brother got drafted to the Seahawks. So, mm. and then he stayed and, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And just like demolished teams. I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah. That was a special team. That, that was the year before, um, what's his name? Milton broke his leg. Idiot. Yeah. I'm just kidding. That sucks. That really <laughs> sucks. Ruined his career. Ruined his he, whole career. Yeah. Ruined it. Yeah. Cause he, Poor guy. He could he could have went to the he could have went pro McKenzie McKenzie Milton McKenzie Milton yeah he could have been a decent backup for some team in the Is NFL he the one from Hawaii yes hell yeah mm-hmm. I remember some things <laughs> yeah but then he broke his leg in the USF game and then Yikes. didn't play didn't play ever again well no I'm not not even play he transferred to FSU played like two or three games and then just didn't get drafted mm. <laughs> yeah, it's like he fucked his leg up. Like, oh, I kind of remember, you remember that. that. Like he almost like had to get it, like the replay was kind of like ugh. yeah, it's like oh yeah, we, we don't one, don't replay that. One of those replays where, where they replayed it once and the TV is like yeah, we can't show that anymore. <laughs> How about we don't? <laughs> How about we don't? Yeah, yeah like, he almost had his leg decapitated because of it because like some like decap no amputated. Sorry. Okay, I, was gonna say, <laughs> the right word. I know words. <laughs> yeah, because like some kind of blood clot almost like couldn't get blood to his legs and like five or. A ridiculous amount of surgeries later, they saved his leg, but it's like, yeah, you're not gonna be able to play again. Mm. So I think he's like, oh, I think he's like an assistant on our Aww, team now. Oh, that poor guy. He at least he's doing something. At least he's doing. He something. was good though too. Like his replacements were like nowhere near as good as him. Damn. Like they, they statistically, like they looked like at his release time, it was like under two seconds and our backup quarterback would take three seconds to fucking throw the ball. So, <laughs> they saw that we were getting too good so they put a hit out on his leg. <laughs> they were like, no, 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 put UCF back down where they belong. And of course we have an, our newest starting quarterback can't throw the fucking ball. Mm. How embarrassing. He's so bad. Oh no. John Rice Plumley. <laughs> cool name, bro. I mean, he's good. Like he's good outside the pocket and he can run the ball and he's phys- he's a physical player but then he tries to throw the ball and it's like, nope. Mm. It's like it's one of those quarterbacks. Every time he throws the ball, I'm like interception. He throws, okay, he throws it like me. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah, I'm worried every time he the ball leaves his hand that it's gonna get intercepted or something. So it's hopefully uh, he's better this year. You know what? Hopefully. Um, I think that's why I am able to freely enjoy football. Yeah, is because I was a UCF <laughs> student because like. You talked about the year after we graduated that we were undefeated. Um, if I'm not mistaken, one of the years that I was actively a student, we went winless. There's two seasons. There's two there's, se- there's multiple a, seasons. There's multiple seasons where we went winless. There was a season that that you were talking about that you were at school, but then I think a year the year after we graduated. This is the I think no. This is the year after Bortles got drafted. Mm-hmm. The year after that, I think we won't, we might have won two or three games, and the year after that, we won no games. <laughs> right. And so you got to make lemonade <laughs> wherever you can. So even in winless seasons, we still had a good time. Yeah. We just drank our woes away. <laughs> I don't really, I don't honestly care. I, it's just, I'm here for the vibes. So, you know, um, really football, the reason I enjoy the football season mm-hmm. and the reason that I get like almost excited for the football season, I think is more of the social aspect of it. It yeah. makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Yeah. It makes me want to go hang out with our friends grill out go tailgating go tailgate i'd prefer tailgating at somebody's house <laughs> because they have central air conditioning <laughs> but if we happen to do it on campus that's cool mm-hmm. too as long as our friends are there it's worth it no. but i like that aspect of it it just makes me feel yeah warm and fuzzy and maybe it's also because i know that af- like not after but like football season is also the precursor to like fall mm-hmm. and well, we're, it's a fall game Falls, it means fall that game, we yeah. like are rolling into the holiday season. So mm-hmm. maybe that's part of what it is for me. Like deep in the back corner of my brain, I'm like, ooh, it also means that the holidays ooh, are coming. Ooh, we get to decorate for, for fall. Even though I barely decorate. <laughs> I don't decorate a lot because then I got to clean it up. Yeah. Every year I'm giving like, myself a problem. Yeah, Maybe we'll put the lights up outside the house this year for Christmas and we never do. That is a you thing. I don't do that. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I, I think I'd mess it up. <laughs> I think I would mess it up very I need, badly. I need to get the right attachments for the, the thing. And we need to get the right lights. I put out some decorations. Although I do like the idea of hanging like or outdoor ornaments on our trees. Mm-hmm. That's fun. A wreath is always a good one. I want to put like bows on our outdoor lights. You've always wanted a wreath. 
Yeah, we had to get a well, new one. Well, we had a re- we had got one, shitty. but we need a new one. We need a new one. Um, got really gross. Somebody in our last neighborhood did this uh, fantastic idea of those projector lights. We had of, projector lights. Yeah, but those are the those are different. Oh, you mean like the twinkle lights? Yeah, the twinkle lights. Instead of putting it on their their uh, their house, they pointed it up towards their tree. Yeah, it's cute. So it looked like there were like fireflies in the trees, and like that's awesome. Adorable. I want to do that. Adorable. Yeah, I would. Lo- I would you know, like to. I want to decorate more. Number one, we don't have like a huge volume of decorations to put up. Yeah, we don't. Um, a lot of my decorations are hand me down <laughs> from my mom. Who is because ridiculous? My mom is the queen of Christmas, and. I love that she goes all out for Christmas <laughs> because it does make it feel, it makes it feel more special, which makes me go, oh shit, I should probably do that for mm-hmm. our daughter to make it feel special for her. Yeah. But that means that I got to go get more Christmas decorations. And every year that I'm like, I'm going to go when they're on clearance at the end of we the holidays and I never fucking do because I'm a moron. <laughs> um, one of these days. We'll see. Yeah. Um, or my mom will purge some of hers and I will take yeah. them. <laughs> but um, yeah, maybe that's part of the reason I mm-hmm. like football too is because it, it it also is a signal that, you know, yeah. that fun season, yeah. that the best part of the year is coming. Yeah, the, the latter half of the year is the yes. best part of the year. The last three months are my are the f- best months of the year. Yeah. I mean, spring is cool too. I don't know. I like spring. Summer just gets hot. Summer's so fucking hot. Like then it cools off and it sort of cools off in Florida. But like spring is like that time where it's like it's not too hot. It's decent. It's, it's nice. nice. It's very nice. There's no basically no rain. Yeah. And and like cloud no, no cloud cover and it's yeah. not so humid. It's all right. So I think spring is my favorite time of year on, um, here in Florida. <laughs> no, I think my favorite time is October, November, yeah. December. I think. Mm-hmm. Followed closely by spring. Yeah. And summer's just too summer, hot. Summer's. Those are our only holidays, really. <laughs> summer. Mean, you sp- mean spring. Seasons? Wait, what did I say? You said holidays. Holidays. <laughs> Seasons. Seasons. That's the right word. <laughs> Decapitate my leg. <laughs> we know um, English is fun. <laughs> I know how to say words, too. So many words. Spring, mm-hmm. summer, kind of winter. Not, I, I, no, I wouldn't use the win- word winter. Fall. Fall. It's just yeah. kind of like a long fall. Yeah. In, in Florida. Yeah. So that's, those are our, like our three pseudo seasons. Yeah. And our, and our fall is like two months long. With our main one being summer. That's basically all year. It's just, yeah, all year summer. It's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. It's like in Game of Thrones where it's like winter's coming. It's like summer's coming, guys. You yeah. better enjoy these two weeks while we can. Exactly. <laughs> better enjoy this. And it's not even like it's cold. It's like 70, 75. Hey, anything, but I'll take it. Anything below 76 in Florida is cold. I'll even bump it up to 78. <laughs> anything below that is like, oh, wow, Ooh, what a crisp day. I need, I need, I need a cardigan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I that's that's why I love that time of year. Yeah. I mean, even right now, us walking our daughter to school, a quarter oh of a mile, God. a quarter of a mile one way, and I'm already sweating. Yeah. It's <laughs> disgusting. Ugh. That's why I'm Just like so Ugh. humid. Yeah. Even in the morning, even yeah. at like eight o'clock, eight thirty, I'm like be, I'm that, already sweating. That that should be changing, because like it's even so this morning was like it's not hot. Could just be all the rain and all yeah. the moisture in the air too. Yeah. It was nice yesterday after the hurricane rolled through for like a good I hot second. I can't even, we can't call it a hurricane. We just, it was, it was just a thunderstorm. It was a thunderstorm. Not even. We, I didn't even Barely. hear any lightning or thunder. I heard you a hear little any lightning? bit of rumblings. You can, you can hear lightning, right? <laughs> I didn't hear any thunder. It was, there was a kind of little rumble. There was a couple rumbles, but like but, other than that, it was like, oh, ooh, it's raining. I don't know, because we heard from like the crossing lady on the road, that yeah. people that like, um, people were already like, all the water was gone yeah, from the stores and all the canned goods. And it's like, have you you're clearly not from here <laughs> <laughs> i was born in this <laughs> because at least for where we are geographically i was like should i be more concerned about uh, this or something because no. i'm not no. right now but there are definitely storms that have rolled oh through yeah I'm no like, there's... i'm getting nervous about this but like this past one i did Idalia, no whatever her fucking yeah. name was i was like I'm really not nervous about this. No, it it was so far to the west of us mm. and so far north too. Like I think we had this conversation before. The most dangerous part of the storm is the northeastern part of it. So if you're gonna get caught up in the northeastern part, then it's like yeah, you should really prepare. Mm-hmm. But like yeah. yeah, when I was looking at the like trajectory of this one, I was like yeah, 
we're gonna get heavy rain yeah. sure we're gonna get rain we're gonna mm -hmm. get wind sure but i'm not like concerned yeah. right now but if you look at the thing like if you notice like the track goes up and then when it gets it gets into the atlantic it's gonna turn around but it's not gonna it's not gonna gain any any heat so it's just gonna be storm mm -hmm. clouds are gonna roll through oh you're so popular oh, that's work mm, lame yeah. <laughs> but yeah yeah it was it was just we got like, rain for part of part of day it wasn't even a whole day yeah it was like and it wasn't when the storm was hitting it was like the day before we we got the most rain was the day before the storm came in yeah and that was the outer bands of, of the storm so it whenever was like, those happen it's not like i'm complaining yeah because nobody wants to get hit with a hurricane no <laughs> but like it's just interesting to see different people's reactions to it yeah. it's you like, know <laughs> Because like, I went to the store the day before this came in and it was it was packed. Like people were doing last minute things. I'm like, have you guys lived in Florida? Yeah. Before? <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's the key to it is mm -hmm. you have to prep. You have to hurricane mm -hmm. prep when there is no hurricane. Yeah. That way you're not fighting against the. Yeah. And it's yeah. just gigantic crowd of people that are going to go last minute and be like, I need more canned soup. <laughs> yeah, really, I need toilet yeah. paper. Really, it's just non perishables and water. Not, yeah and then make sure your batteries are charged and stuff i had i was toying around with the idea of getting a solar powered generator so you like charge it during the day and then turn it on at night to, to, for like the ac we or have something a generator yeah but it's it's uh uh gas powered so it's like it's noisy and you got to leave it outside and and you know if you don't close your garage you do it in the garage and the potential of getting fumes back in the house like eh, i'd rather have like a, a big battery basically that you charge during the day in the sunlight so yeah that was sounds expensive it, it, they are very expensive the, the, the cheapest one the cheapest effective one that i found was like two thousand dollars uh-huh i was like yeah and then what we have right now free 99 <laughs> <laughs> i need to charge how to run that because like price. it's never been run before and that's like bad for it so the I one think we have the one we have we need to definitely uh run it just to get you know whatever gunk might be yeah built up or whatever make mm -hmm. sure it still works yeah I, i'm sure it works has never been the only thing time i think it's been run is like when we had it but i we need to make sure it before the or when we first got it sorry okay. <laughs> english it's a lot of it's it's hard today yeah it's hard. a lot of words <laughs> <laughs> the last time we ran it was when we had it <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> got it. okay no when we first got it we ran it to make sure it works but like um we need to do it again because we, it was well different. honestly hashtag blessed that we haven't had to use it yeah so you know that's the thing about like living out here with with hurricanes and stuff you have all this shit that you probably never use I, you'd rather have it not need it than need it not have it but yeah. still yeah and also mm -hmm. we have you know do your parents have a generator no really i don't think they do. shocked yeah it for their size house and they need they need a heavy one like a really hefty one but well, at least to keep both fridges cold oh true that's right i know my parents be strapped yeah. when it comes to hurricane prep and that's always nice to know too that, that's what i'm because if we the fact that we live really close to my parents and like reasonably close to yours is always like if push came to shove mm -hmm. at least now you have a couple of different um mm -hmm um locations not options but like chances like mm -hmm. you have more chances of like oh well if i lost electricity did you yeah if if i still have electricity you come here yeah and if you still RC. have electricity we'll go there <laughs> so it's nice to have like we can be backups for each other as yeah. long as we all aren't out of electricity although I, like if a big hurting hurricane does end up coming through it's like we, we can just hunker down on your your parents because they have those like a fortress. Yeah, like they have these like only problem is that our dogs hate yeah. each other. But they're they're like not just their shutters, but they have that that, that thing that comes down in their patio. Yeah. That's like bulletproof. I'm like, dang. That's why I say they be strapped. Yeah. So they be prepped. It's almost like they lived here for a really, really, yeah, long, a really time. long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only one hurricane, I think, that blew through that really wrecked uh, my parents house one year. I think it was the 2000 prior to it was like 2001 2002 one of, one of those hurricanes one the of those year big when there was like three that just kind of blew through back to yes back. i think that year that fuck that year that yes, sucked that year i was living at home mm -hmm. that sucked we mm -hmm. were without power okay i don't know if i'm making this up mm -hmm. i have to fact check with my mom <laughs> <laughs> but i feel like if memory serves we were without a power for like two weeks or something two crazy like weeks that. i thought it was a week one or two weeks 
one or two. I think it was a week for you. Well, you, you, your, you guys were like on the coastline. Yeah, we were much closer mm-hmm. at that point in time. Mm-hmm. Like, and my uh, grandparents had to come stay with us, yeah. and it sucked. Yeah. Not because they were there, but it's the whole not the having whole, power yeah. thing. Oh my god, it was no the utilities worst. is that's the worst. Yeah, but like that's why I'm not really worried. I mean, I, if a big storm comes, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I get we, nervous. We, yeah, I, I'll really get nervous and, you know, whatever. But like being inland isn't as bad as being on the coast. Yeah. Because if you're on the coast, you're basically fucked when hurricanes come Kind through. of, yeah. But if you're like in central Florida, you have the, the more chance of the, the storm losing steam when it gets to you. Yeah. So that's what it's like. Yeah. God uh, willing. Uh, yeah. God willing. So. But, yeah. yeah. It's not a fun time of year. Mm hmm. We should stock up on some batteries, though. Batarazis. Batarazis. We gotta get rechargeable batteries. More rechargeable batteries. Yeah. For just in general. Just in general. I mean, well, we have the the batteries. I just I recharge for this hurricane because we like, also because yeah. We gotta get nine volts. Oh yeah, it's for our that smoke time alarms. of year. Yeah, and we won't need your dad to come and help with those anymore. <laughs> Anybody else ever get woken up by your smoke alarms <sighs> beeping so fucking loud, and it only ever happen when like they have, when they have like a low battery mm-hmm. only ever happens at like 2 a.m <laughs> for some reason i don't understand yeah so we try to change our, our yeah and it, alarm. What is, I, I yeah i know that that thing yeah that thing needs to be repaired but it <sighs> yeah but like it, it sounds like yeah just change it because it's like you know it seems like we have vaulted ceilings so it's like there are some in the hallway that are like fucking 10 12 feet up in, in uh-huh. somebody had to have vaulted ceilings. I love vaulted ceilings. <laughs> it makes your house seem bigger. It, it makes it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Everything seems loftier, I guess, mm-hmm. but neither of us is, uh, yeah, your dad's taller. tall enough. <laughs> well, that's when we only had a six foot ladder. Now we have the ladder that can go like, like 20 feet in the air. Really so high. Yeah. It can go really high in the air now. So uh, now I can do it. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, we're approaching that time of year. Usually every October we're like, got yeah, to change our smoke alarms so we don't get woken up in the middle of the night mm-hmm. by an obscenely loud yeah. beep. Adulting is awesome, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you're such a millennial to use adulting as a verb. Ew. Lord help me. Closer Wait, to 40 than 30. Wait, wear skinny jeans and you have a side part. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Who is that? Oh, it's our group chat. Oh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Hello, Skitza. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Was there anything else that you wanted to talk about? So, yeah, you, we had this fun conversation uh, that was uh, spawned on or spawn, a TikTok see, uh, by a TikTok. Spawned yeah. Spawned from from a TikTok. Yeah. Um, and it's about, you know, the, the classic argument. For men and women with, you know, the toilet seat. Let me preface this. Okay, you go ahead. Let me preface this by saying that the age old debate of like leaving the seat up Mm -hmm. and leaving it down, blah, blah, blah. I will 100 percent vouch for this guy right here that he never leaves anything up. And there's a good reason for that. And there's a good reason. Let's start with that reason. Okay, so. Yeah, the whole whole thing like, oh, when the guy goes goes pee, they lift the toilet seat and they forget to put it down for some Stupid reason. Just Neanderthal men can't put the seat down. (laughs) I always put the seat down because I think way, way long ago, um, before we ever met, um, one of my friends said or somebody told me that, like, yeah, you want to close the seat because when you flush all those particles, whether they pee particles or poop particles, (laughs) get flung up into the air because of the toilet seat doing the whatever. Yeah, just like makes it into a micro mist and And, it goes everywhere. I was like, yeah, that's 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 gross. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah, imagine all of that going everywhere. On the walls, onto the mirror, onto your toothbrush. I'm like, that's disgusting. Because didn't they actually like actually yeah, they did, do tests? Yeah, and he was quoting this study that they found. It's like, yeah, look at this. You know, people get sick because of well, particles, in particles your toothbrush. On your, go on your toothbrush. It's like that's disgusting. Yucky. So from that moment on, I always put everything down. The the seat and the lid goes down, and then I flush. We also have a dog that mm. would probably drink from it if yeah. we didn't do that. And that's so a secondary it's reason. A, it's twofold. Yeah, for but us. primary reason because I don't want shit getting on my toothbrush ew <laughs> that's disgusting <laughs> but we were i saw this tiktok mm-hmm. and it was the kind of thing that you overheard a couple of words from it and you were like what the like, fuck what are you watching the fuck are you watching it was like it, it something about jerking off i'm like what <laughs> are you watching <laughs> <laughs> okay so it was this guy how did it start he uh 
people are way too comfortable on social media, first yeah. of all. He made a TikTok where he was like literally sitting on the toilet. And I was like, dog. Oh, and his comment, yeah, and his comments were like, "Oh, you sit down to pee like a girl." It's like, yeah, somebody mentioned something about sitting down to pee, and he was like, "Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about it." I feel like there was there was something else that he was trying to make a point for, because like, well, was, that was I think that was one of the arguments was okay, the he, seat, the seat sitting, he, and yeah. he was also talking about how he is a strong proponent of how mm-hmm. dudes should. Um, you know, try to get it clear, dab and wipe themselves mm-hmm. a bit, even after they, they go number ones. Yeah. You know, go onesies, go onesies. <laughs> yeah. I like that. We'll <laughs> say that. And so people were like, dudes, don't wipe. Dudes don't sit. What and it's you- like, first of all, were you the toilet police? <laughs> like, There is no rule about what you can and can't do in the bathroom. As long as you don't like smear shit all over the walls. <laughs> There's no rule that says that you, this person, if you look like this, you got to sit. If you look like that, you got to stand. Do yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. God damn. Treat yourself. Get off my back. But yeah, he was like, let me tell you why you should sit. Let me tell you why you should dab. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I we watched them. It was like a three-part series. <laughs> and we watched them all together. And I was like. Do you? Because, well, okay. So, because he was saying that uh, dudes should like dab stuff because there's always going to be a little bit stuck in, left yeah. in there. Sorry for the disgusting talk, but. If you, don't, <laughs> if, you don't, if you can't talk about this, you, we're all adults. <laughs> Grow up. If you can't. Hopefully, talk, hopefully adults are watching. If you can't talk about onesies and twosies, grow up. But um, Jesus Christ, a couple episodes ago, we talked about uh, my vasectomy recovery and like jerking off. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Doctor's orders. But yeah, he was saying that, you know, it's always going to be stuff left. Mm-hmm. And if you don't do this, then it might collect in your underwear. And that's gross. That's gross and yeah. it's just from a hygienic perspective, it's better. And then he started getting into the anatomy and physiology of it all, talking about glands and and, yeah. and, and muscles that contract and all this type of stuff. And he, I actually learned a little something. He, yeah. he taught me something that I wasn't aware of. So mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then he said something about how he likes to sit because he thinks it's more also more hygienic in the sense that it everything gets where it's supposed to go. Yeah. You know. And so that made us start <laughs> talking about like because I was like, do you lift up the toilet seat? Because like I said, yeah, I've, I never in the entirety of us knowing each other have ever found it up. Yeah. So I was like, do you even? I'm like, yeah, because I don't want to hit the seat when I'm peeing. <laughs> and I'm sure our listeners, our male listeners, will will agree with me. It's like, you don't want to pee all over the seat because, you know, you might miss the bowl or whatever. And, like, when you lift the seat up, it's just more area. It's, it's, just, it's less, there's almost 0% chance you'll hit the seat. And it's like, and then you're like, well... Just, oh, well, just aim better. I'm like, yes. <laughs> just aim better. And then it got into conversation of like, you know, pressure when it, when you, you talk about par- parabolas and shit. <laughs> like, like when just you get, aim better. When you get to the end of your session, it, the the pressure start, starts going down, and like you don't want to get on the front. And I had spun this whole conversation like public restrooms. They they're not a, a seat that goes all the way and connects. Right? There's this little like it kind of goes like that. It's like little, yeah. It's like there's this opening. It's like yeah. That's the whole reason why. So you don't pee on the seat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's let the voice of reason come in here for a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's just lazy because <laughs> you you did say I, I didn't really if I'm being honest, I didn't consider mm-hmm. the whole pressure argument that you said you were like, oh, imagine if you're like you got water coming out of a hose and, and then somebody sh- turns off the water slowly yeah. and it just kind of instead of going like this, it kind of the pressure tapers goes down. off until the pressure goes away and then there's yeah. none left. Compensate, <laughs> adapt survive <laughs> like if you if you if you if you can't compensate <laughs> for the fact how long have you been pissing like this your whole goddamn life okay you know what's gonna happen you should be able to anticipate it and tis the piss you know <laughs> you should know what to do at that's this the point. title of this fucking episode <laughs> anticipus here's my offering here my offering is if you're standing that far away that you're like tapering off is going to be an issue for you. 
And the fact that the, the pressure goes down and it starts going like this. And uh oh, now it's going to start hitting the seat or, or maybe even the floor. Move closer. <laughs> What's the fucking problem here? And I even proposed, okay, because I think I said something to you about like, I don't know, get closer. And you were like, well, I can't. The toilet's there. I don't know. Why? Deepen your stance or something. <laughs> like, keep one foot in front and then maybe well, no. put one foot like to the side. So you're kind of, you got like a front stance going on. No, because then you'd have, you have to spread your legs more to get over the toilet. Oh, right? no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, then, Heaven forbid. Because then I said, it's like, well, you get closer to the seat, then you run the risk of peeing on the seat. When you first start. It's a tremendous <laughs> opening. <laughs> it's not it's not like you're peeing into like a circle this big. It's a tremendous oval. <laughs> and also, don't get me fucking started on like, well, you gotta lift up the seat to give you more room so you don't get it on the seat. Do you how much more circumference are is being added by lifting up the lid? Okay? It's like it's gotta be less than an inch. If we're looking at L- seat and then inner I don't know rim yeah. how much more real estate are you uncovering it's like two three two um, like I, I don't know not much <laughs> not much you're you're opening up maybe that much more space around that is not enough to be like oh I get it <laughs> <laughs> this is like a classic man woman like like they're like I'm sorry if this upsets anybody but like this is a classic thing of like there are certain things that men just can't fathom about women because yeah. we don't. I'm not a woman, so I can't. There's certain things that I will never understand Absolutely. about being a woman because I I don't have the parts. I don't identify like that. Whatever. Absolutely. There. This is one of those things that you can't understand because you do not have our equipment. <laughs> you do not pee like a man. <laughs> Sorry if that is up to anybody, but like you just can't understand it. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, I respect what you're saying. I've been because- pissing like this my like for what thirty plus years. How- Which means you should be better at it. No, <laughs> uh, and I'm also not. I'm also not. Your accuracy should be better. <laughs> when I say you, I'm not. I don't mean Andrew. I mean you in general. I just mean our general audience. Dudes, not no, not you guys. I just mean dudes. dudes. You know. <laughs> I just mean be better. Like do better at it. <laughs> aim better. Like you actually you actually have you have the means to aim. <laughs> and yet, funny how we have all these things in place that can make you not get it on the seat. I'm gonna lift up the seat and I'm gonna stand here and then and funny how it still gets on the inner rim of the toilet. <laughs> I thought that lifting up the lid made that not happen. <laughs> But somehow it still happens. It's funny how it doesn't make any fucking difference. It gets on the floor sometimes. Again, I not can't a wait for the on, comments on this. On not this a reflection episode. on Andrew. I'm not saying this because it's Andrew because he's. I I think you actually do quite well. What of? Because like sometimes piss gets on the floor. I've just never been on the floor. That's why I'm saying I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about you, in this, general. This fucking reminds me of the, we were just watching the league of like how when um, Jenny makes um, Kevin take all these vitamins that makes his piss turn green. Yeah. And then she comes in to, to like change her, she goes in and she's like, he hit all the toilet paper. And it's like, how do you get all the toilet paper? <laughs> it's everywhere. I think yeah. that would be, I mean. It's like, how do you do that? I wonder, I, I don't know if urine shows up with a black light. It does. Any bodily fluid. Yeah, it does. How gross would that be? Yeah. And also, a, another great point that that TikTok guy made yeah. was about TikTok guy. TikTok, TikTok guy. TikTok guy. Words are fun. Jack talk time. <laughs> Jack, Jack talk time. They're real really good. <laughs> um, from a hygienic standpoint, he's right because you're standing up. Yeah. You drop liquid into liquid, splashes are going to happen. Mm-hmm. And so that means that the taller the dude, the more the splash. That's yucky. Mm-hmm. And if you're splashing shit outside of the toilet, who cares how much of it you get in the toilet if you're just splashing more out of it? Sit down. Take a load off. So you can get all of your legs. <laughs> that's even, that's, that's even, disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> and then you want to go cuddle with your girlfriend on the couch? <laughs> go fuck yourself, bro. <laughs> Learn to pee better. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> and then I've also heard the argument, oh, but it's faster if it I is. stand up. Uh, what fucking life emergency is happening that you can't take five extra seconds to sit? 
listen, and I, I'm, I'm not. This doesn't really apply to like public restrooms because they are war zones. Yeah, I do. I don't. I don't like them. Ew. Nobody wants to make contact with a public restroom toilet. Nobody wants no. that. That's disgusting. That's why you guys have the privilege of <laughs> not having urinals. to even worry about that. Of, well, urinals are fucking weird. The fact that it's just like, what's up, brother? Like, <laughs> dick there out. There are rules. Eyes forward. No talking. You can't tell me somebody doesn't from doesn't, time to time. want to catch a pee-pee peek? Some little pee-pee peeker? <laughs> No. Peaky blinders over That's here? That's why I always go into the stall. No matter what, every time I go to a public restroom, I always go to a stall. If I was equipped like that, I would too. Yeah. Are there ever any like actual blinders like, in between urinals? Yeah. It, it just depends on the restroom you go, go in. Like airports almost definitely have the, the blinders. <laughs> the pee <pee-pee> blinders. <laughs> yeah, because or honestly. Partitions. That's just. Yeah, no, that's. Weird. I don't like, I don't like doing that. It's just weird. I always go to a stall. Like just the thought. I've had a standing next to another person. Like, imagine if someone was like, hey, I got a cool idea. Chill, bro. Suggestion They're, for a Friday night. How about you stand in a room with a bunch of other dudes? Dick in your hand. I don't know if this is an, a thing anymore, but there are like stadiums or like sporting stadiums where it's not like urinal, urinal, urinal. It's just like a trough. A guy's just like, okay, let's go. It's like, God, what are we animals? That's gross. That's so gross. Imagine if they, <laughs> imagine if they um, designed a urinal like carousel it's not the right word like a lazy river <laughs> Ew. no i was going for like what if what if somebody designed a urinal for like i don't know to save space or something mm-hmm. and it was like in the form of a circle and there was just like a bunch of urinals around a circle so you i've actually to like... seen that there's there yeah it's not like there's like an open space it's like there's like a, a pillar and then it mm-hmm. goes around so you don't accidentally make eye contact yeah have you? Has anybody ever talked to you while at a urinal? No, because every man knows the rule. You can't tell me somebody has eyes a, forward, no talking. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's broken that. I'm sure. I'm sure there has, but like I would. I I don't like spending time in public restrooms. I I don't either. Get in, They're get gross. Out. It's an absolute war zone. No, have you ever been in a in a public restroom for ladies? Mm. Ooh, goodness gracious. What? Like literally, what are you animals? Like yeah. how? Do you, how? How? There? How could you? Why? There should never <laughs> be pee on the seat of a woman's bathroom. Ew, gross. I, I get why there is, and I we don't need to get into like S- you know, specifics. <laughs> this much of specifics, but I, I I guess I could see why it happens to some people depending mm. on the choices they make. Yeah, but it's like um, gross. Yeah, like just. Gross. Don't be an animal. Yeah. But anyways, what I'm really trying to say is it shouldn't be that hard to aim. <laughs> <laughs> I also run into this problem when we go into the bathroom of like I, I saw this meme somewhere. It was either on uh TikTok. Not, it was not, it was I think it was on Instagram or, or Twitter. And like there it was like this graphic, like when I go to the bathroom and when I hear my own piss hit the the, the water, it's like a trickle. But then I hear the guy next to me in the stall and it's like a fucking a waterfall. waterfall. It's like, is it the acoustics? Or is it just me? And it's like, God, that guy must have a fucking like, full ass bladder. He, no, like, he must be sh- fucking strapped because it's like oh, a little trickle. It's like, oh, but like, you know what I mean? Like the, the bigger the dick, the bigger the sound or something. I don't know. But it's like it doesn't. I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it has <laughs> everything to do with the pressure. I don't know. But like, I don't know Maybe if this happened to any really other guys. But it's go. like every time I go, it's like, oh, but then the dude next to me is like, oh, I'm like, dude. Must, it must be like the acoustics of the, by the time the sound gets to me. It's like. Or maybe he just sound. drank a lot and he had a lot of pressure built up. I don't know. I, I don't know. But like, that's just like, yeah, that's so true. Because like every time I've gone, it's like, dude, man. Wow. Pell aggressions are so. <laughs> and like. Unisex public restrooms. <sighs> that's. Yeah. I don't want to touch anything. I barely yeah. even want to breathe that air in. Mm-mm. Dog gross well in florida now you're you you have to go to the one that you're assigned to but that's another topic for another another, time yeah another time when i want to get mad you know (laughs) i need anger fuel when i want to ruin my fucking day let's talk about that (laughs) and debate about that yeah yeah i want to get pissed (laughs) old ronnie's at it again old pudding fingers (laughs) doing what he does best but yeah ruining my fucking day we had a lively discussion about 
leaving the seat up or putting it down. Oh yeah, this is this is a good like <laughs> like forty minute discussion of like just do this. <laughs> it's really not like I respect what you're saying about like it's just it's a man thing. You'll never yeah. get it. And the caveat is, I tried the the thing of you moving closer to the. It's like and what happened? I was able to get it in there, but it's mm, like I easier, I needed probably. it was more effort. Oh, it was more forbid, effort. A man should put in more effort into something. <laughs> Heaven forbid. I want to do the bare minimum. God, we fucking baby these men. <laughs> fucking coddle them. It's like, you have to start, it's like the expectation and here's men. <laughs> exactly. This is the bare minimum. And then when we get this, we're like, wow. Wow. Are you single? Like, could you imagine standing in front of a toilet? <laughs> knowing that your piss stream is going to trickle down and taper <laughs> off and then being like, I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it just is the way it is. I don't know if, the, if pee gets everywhere. I just don't know what to tell you. Bottom line, gents, it's possible. You just gotta, you gotta work for it. <laughs> you really gotta work at it. <laughs> you really gotta work <laughs> aiming a stream of liquid into an opening this big. You really got to try, gents. You really got to put forth that effort. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps and just fucking piss in that bowl. All of it has to get in there. Sorry for the effort. <laughs> Woo. This was an interesting episode. <laughs> Am I right, folks? A lot of potty talk. Gross. I cannot wait for the comments. It's not that hard. <laughs> and I will respect a lot of the you just would understand things. I get that. I, it, it, but this might not be one of them. I've used a hose. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I know what it is to have I one. I get the concept. <laughs> I understand how it works. I can simulate it. Can you simulate a period? No. no I, I can simulate. That's what I'm saying. There are things about being a woman I will never, mm. I can't even fathom. Just because. Just because. Yeah. This is one of those things where you. I can make an educated guess. You can make a guess, but you can't. You really can't. I mean, mm. but it's just easier. That's all I'm saying. It's just easier. Just lift the toilet seat up, go, and then put it down and flush. And then also, if you are lifting up the seat, you better be washing your oh, hands. Yeah. I mean, first of all, you should be washing your hands every time. Yeah. But you should be washing your hand extra if you're touching something gross. Do you, this might be a little too <laughs> mine. <laughs> Let's just end here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's I'll ask you it. later. <laughs> ask off here. Let's just end it here. <laughs> Do you pee on your hands? No. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. It seems so simple, right, ladies? <laughs> bare minimum. So it's just That's all we ask. That's for all it is. The bare minimum. So we'll end here. This very interesting episode <laughs> of the Radcast. So. Nate Yolanta, where can they sort of find you online? Like I always say, whenever I... I'm like, uh, what is that? Puxatani Phil. <laughs> Pops out of the ground like once a year. Sees his shadow. <laughs> Shit! And then goes Sends away. out a tweet and goes, oh, uh, cool. And then I just go away for the rest of the year. What is it? Six extra weeks. <laughs> Every <laughs> If I see my shadow, maybe I'll tweet again in another six weeks. <laughs> Uh, anyway, sometimes I say things on Twitter at Dimmy, D-I-M-M-M-Y-Y-Y. <laughs> As for me, you, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Roguelander Drew. <laughs> Woo, I'm crying. <laughs> this is a good episode. <laughs> if you listen to this on audio form, please follow the feed and rate us. And if you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell icon in the lower right-hand corner so we do things on the YouTube. Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Radcast. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.